this is uh, Russell Scott of ScottCarvings.com and um, I'm doing another outside COVID-19 edition just to get out of the house and get some fresh air, listening to the birds and the neighbors. And I'm going to carve sort of a COVID-19 angel, as it were. I was trying to get a little extra light on it. It doesn't really help that much, the light. Oops, hold on. There you go. And uh hope is this isn't going to be too dark. Now, this is round one. And I took a kind of a cheap piece of wood here. It's got a nice uh, crack on it. and But it carved really nice. Now, what we have here is, is the angel watching over uh what they call them, first responders or the healthcare people who um who actually are the frontline people <clears throat> and the problem here is that um the uh the first responders are kind of little little small so uh i mean they're adults and even though it's supposed to, i mean it kind of almost looks like they're children and, uh, of course, this could probably be a good, I don't know, also a Christmas angel. And she's watching over the children. But what I'm going to do is what I, I'm going to make it larger and wider. And I'm trying to see if I can get the, the characters more larger, probably just underneath her, her bosom there. And so what I did is I, I took this and I scanned it in and took my, let's zoom a little bit here, and made, put this into Photoshop. And, and what I did was just take these pieces here and just make them larger so they'll just be underneath. And so we'll try to, to ruler these, some of these things in. Like I said, the pattern it should be on my website, or not website, yeah, website. I mean, I'll have a link to my the patterns. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you'll see the the end result. Basically, you'll end up you'll you'll start out with a sort of a, a cutout like this, very I want to say generic, as it were. You know, so, all right, let's get kind of in there more, get some of the distractions out of there. We do have some shade going on. Shadow effect. I hope that doesn't ruin this video, but like I said, it just it's just nice to get outside. Now, this time I'm using my table like I did with my wizard, or pardon me, wizard. For those who noticed that I did misspell wizard, you wizard. Anyways, uh, uh, so therefore we should not have any unfocusing uh, episodes. I do have my light, an extra light on, but it doesn't look like it's adding. Is it adding some? But let's get going. I'll do the center line. I want to tilt her head why do we always say her when we talk about angels it's always a her so the head is tilted just a little bit and then there's your center line there hopefully you could see it now this from the bottom is every time i pick up a ruler it's always upside down Boo-hoo. Okay, about four. Let's go four. We can even go, I want to go a little higher, maybe four and a half inches. Four and a quarter to four and a half inches up. Let's go four and a half. It's always good to have more. You can always take off. And that's, and what's going to happen is going to be different. See, this one here, how the other hand, the arm comes down. This one here, the arm's going to come down and up again to put the hand on the shoulder. 
And uh, the thing I neglect to mention, this is going to be this this style here. What do they call it? The, the Amish. Uh, I tried to say Amish with with uh, with Lynn, my wife, and she says, "No, it's not Amish." Well, yeah, the, the Amish, where you got the no face and you got the hat and the and their suits and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a no unless you want to put uh, a face in. Uh, don't mind uh, if I show this again. Like I said, there's, there's a crack here. I did start with the face. I thought, no, I changed my mind. I didn't want to do that. And so when I try to cover it up, so it looks like she's been kind of through the ringer. But like I said, first first round, and then you try to do a, a second round. So that's where the character is going to be. And that's going to be the hardest part. But once the characters are in, <clears throat> like you pencil them in, and, and you V-tool them in, and then you start kind of chipping away. Uh, but, uh, okay, there's the, the, the uh, what they're wearing, what I got off the internet, uh, is this picture. I don't know, I could probably show it. I'll probably make sure I have that under, too. Uh, we kind of have the man should be a little taller. She's been a little shorter. And you start off. No, we're not putting, now, now, come on, we're not putting boobs in, or come on now, that's, as a matter of fact, it's going to be, it's going to be right here, actually, but that's heads. Don't be thinking nothing now. That's the heads. <clears throat> Anyways, as I was saying, <clears throat> the outfit that, that they have is this, kind of this, this um, big head, or big hat, I think I probably could show it. I'll probably add to it if I can. And then, of course, they have the, the, the mask. The mask. But they also have, you know, the that plastic that's in front, that clear plastic. But I just don't know how to how to carve that in. I'm, I've left that out. And then uh, when you paint, that's going to be just the, you know, the flesh color and probably, two, you know, the eyes. And when you paint that in... But if you want to get some uh, clear plastic and just kind of glue it on there, and then uh, make sure if you do do that, to make sure you got a, like a flat line and painted or something, and then put that plastic over a clear plastic that you would uh, um, glue uh, glue on if you can. But I'm trying to make this kind of simple, trying to get this out out there, uh, get this out here. Uh, during our seclusion in the house. So I'm just kind of penciling in for right now. And a little bit. And and it's kind of, it's especially what I got is kind of really baggy. I mean, what the outfit they got in is really super baggy. And then I have the arms come down. It's easier to have it this way where the arms come down and the the hands are together. That's it's an easier carve. We can say they're they're you know praying probably before they go in. You can say something like that. They're just about ready to go in. And you can have the arms do anything else, but the reason why I have them come in like this is it's an easier it's an easier carve. And so I like to use circles to just draw in. Because once once you have these things not only drawn in um, and let's get a little shoulders shoulder here. There's more to it. This one's not so bad, but this one here, I think we need to bring the shoulders up lower, bring the head down a little more. And right now I'm sketching. I mean, there's no... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll finalize it a little later right now. I just, you're getting a feel for what's going on. And if both that they have in common, I mean, she might have a little, little up, on, a little extra on the chest to show that's a female and, and his won't, and he'll be a little more bulkier. I mean, I like how this is going. I mean, this one is not, I'll have to fix that. And what they do have in common is, you know, she's not wearing, uh, you know, a revealing dress, as it were. I mean, it's all, it comes down, and then here's the the leg, same with him. But 
Oops. If I put that in, he's going to be like that a little more this way. So, <clears throat> when I get going, I'll, when I start V-tooling this, I will uh, make it a little more permanent. I think this would probably be. But I wanted to make sure that this is in. The rest, I kind of think, is much easier. I mean, the face and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we're not putting in the head, the nose and the eyes, so that it's going to be kind of round, but we still want to have a round shape head. So I just want to make sure that we've got this this committed. And there's kind of the feet. They're going to go like this. Right now, I'm just, like I said, I'm just playing. I'm sketching. I had one class with one instructor, and I did that. I think I told you that before. And Okay, so how do I do this, I'd ask, and he said, well, what line am I looking at? And that's, I mean, I agree with him. I mean, at the end, we'll put, I think that's still a little too, I mean, it's okay to have it sort of, sort of larger because we can always take away. And there's not too much neck going on. I mean, it's very baggy, very... Now, this one is almost right as is, I like. Except I might have to come over a little more. I'm going to move it over. I think I should have done some center lines with both of them. Should. Because what I want is this to come... There's center... We want the sleeves, and then I got the hand. Now, the thing that I'm going to do with the hand, that's detailing right now. Everything else, I think, it looks pretty decent. It's just getting this started is what I'm a little nervous about. I know sometimes I get that. You get the block of wood phobia where you, um, you look at the block and, oh, my God, where to start? But something about, you know, rather like rough outs, where you take your, oops, take your cutouts and you start roughing it out. So you're still a little bit, of, you know, not female, but human figure. But again, it's kind of baggy. So we're, that's one good thing about this. It's very round and you don't have to get too perfect in the human anatomy is good about this. Okay, we just spend a good chunk of time just getting started here. Um, because what's going to happen is all this is all that wood is going to go away. And the next thing I want to do is where is the so from the top I want the shoulder upside down again. The shoulder is exactly two inches from the top. Oh, two inches. So just to me, it's just right where I got that right there. That's the shoulder. So I, so I did make more head. Gave it more. I did give it more head that I wanted. More of the, yeah, see, I did get some extra in there. Always that's where the shoulder is going to be. If that's where the shoulder is going to be, that's where the arm is going to start. Now here comes the next difficult thing. Now here, I did have the arms come back. The, this arm come back. I think the forearm is a little shorter. I think the elbow should have been, yeah, from here, the elbow should have been right about here. And since they're going to be about here, the shoulders here, so it's going to, we want this out as far as it goes and come in. <clears throat> so we want to use all that wood. And we want the hand on the shoulder.
Now you could have, if you want to, uh, uh, angels might have this, you know, this robe effect. We'll do that. Let's put the little kind of, I didn't do that on this one. This one's kind of more, almost like a Santa arm. And uh, little robe effect here. Same with the other side is going to be just the mirror of the other. Here's the elbow. Oops. That isn't straight across. There's here's where the old boy goes. And we want the hand here. Let's see if you put the hand. Yeah, it'd be about because if it's right at chest level, you know, the hand would be straight out somewhat. And again, because then if you put the hand here, that will extend the arm a little bit because this does look a little short and a little uncomfortable. I think we'll have to work with it again once we rough this out. I think it'll be okay. Kind of almost a gorilla look. Well, that's because I got this here. Down below the chest. Yeah, that is about right. Yeah, right where the elbow is. I think it, what, what's going to probably happen is that the shoulder is going to come down a little more. Okay, now the rest in the back is going to be fairly easy rounded off and then there's now the hair we don't want the hair to come down too much hopefully that isn't too much because we got the we got to put this in the, the wing in and you can see how if you have too much hair and then the hair is going to disappear anyways now this this uh this this wing, I'll explain it a little more. It's going to be a simple wing. It's not going to be, if you want to really, as a matter of fact, it's going to be a, a, a sort of a flat plane carving kind of wing where we just make it look good as, we're not going to put the feathers in. You can put the feathers in if you want. But I'm just going to carve it. We're going to put just a little bit of a bow to it, a little bit of a curve. And then I'm just going to paint it. And if you want to, uh, put in the feathers you can but anyways that's that's then that's next after this which this is a very quick and easy project am I right <laughs> all right I'm gonna take just a quick couple seconds so I can adjust so we'll have less shade shadowing so you can see it I'll be back in about five seconds you know that isn't gonna help is it in fact you probably even see my my shaggy head I need a haircut. <laughs> People complain about having, well, geez, when you're my age, more hair is better, I guess. I don't know. Well, let's just keep keep working on it here. And uh, do let me know what you think as far as, is this not a good idea? Or uh, I can turn around and have the sun in front of me, I suppose. Well, let's give that a try. Okay, this is, I think, a little better. Um, that uh, now I'm kind of facing into the sun, so it has less shadow. And sorry that you guys have to be the proverbial guinea pig of trying to figure out how this all works. But anyways, uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, you can see a little bit of shade from our tree that... Um, Actually, the power people came by last week and cut a huge hunk off. It's a big maple tree from our neighbors here. Anyways, where are we here? Getting started. I think we are getting to the point of committing and started committing the knife and the um, chisel. And what we're going to do is... What's going to happen is, is that she is going to have the halo here. 
And that's how I'm going to put the halo in like that. You can do it any other way if you want to not have the halo, just a regular hair. Uh, and then you have the wire come in and around. You can do whatever. This is just kind of more the wood carving way of doing it or the quicker, cheaper or whatever way of doing things. But what I want to do first is to commit to our figures. I think I'm going to give it one last look here. Uh, I might want to move him over just a piece. Just a little bit over. Last chance. And then, then, then I think the bottoms are kind of relatively fine. A little bit here, and remember, we're going to have some of this, uh, with the exception of the arm. So we're going to I'll put my, now let's get started. That's kind of the hardest part. Let's just kind of, where are we? Am I in here now? The thing is, is I can Is it better? Is it worse? I am in a the, the shadow of a tree here. That I just told you, and I think as the time goes goes by, and start committing to the character. Now the head it could be large. Again, like I said, it's very bulky, and I think I'm going to do a little more shoulder as I cut. Right there, a little, just a little bit of in here, just a, just a little here, a little here, so that we can get the arms in. Am I still in the camera? That's what matters. We got the top part. So at least he's cut in. Let's get her going here. I wanted to wait, I could have done this, I, I was trying to pre prep for yesterday. Yesterday was a good, um, it was a um, cloudy day, it was like a 12% chance of rain or something, but actually that's when I wanted to do this, because I like good ambient light. And what I what I usually do, and, and I've done in the past, is I've done a, uh, a you know a thus far, you know, where I would stop and show you where you can probably stop the camera, catch up when the sun is higher. Is that the end of the table here? No, there, that's a little better. So that's what we're doing. Is that we are. So what if you see the end of the table? I'm trying to be as professional as I can, but got some nice bird sound going. At the same time, we got uh, truck sounds going. Got a neighbor, a couple of houses behind me, putting up a new yard fence, and so they got. Uh, the concrete people doing their concrete stuff. That's what you hear. The kids aren't out and about yet. 
we should be hearing from them pretty soon. So we got uh, kids in front of me. They're two boys, and they really, they really like to. They, they come out a lot and play and a lot of racket and whatever. Okay, like I said, we're gonna put, gonna commit to this. Semi commit to. I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna carve a little, little bit up here, just a little bit, because that's. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I screwed up already, didn't I? That's where the hand is going to be. Now, there's going to... Oh, there's plenty of rum there. Never never mind, there's plenty of rum. So if you haven't got there, don't cut that or don't cut that. But uh, the way this is going to go back, there's going to be plenty for what I just... For the screw-up I did, so... If you did the screw-up I did, don't worry, that's going... That's going... But it's, it's good to hear some outside sounds, but I was more referring to the birds and, and probably even to kids. And I might even postpone it because of that. And if they're going to keep doing that, Of course, you probably don't don't care as long as we're carving. And I do have a feeling that they are going. Oops, this is. This one did get a little lower than this one. But there's still plenty. And I'm not gonna worry about this yet. All right. <sighs> so what we have here, I'm just going to get to the major, major, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, a lot of take, taking the, the major wood taking off parts. Uh, what we have up is a I'll start here, just starting around in the bottom a little bit. Is we have quite a number of houses up. Is they're actually doing, taking bricks out of their, the base of their house, I guess it's falling apart and they had to fix it or something. Uh, let's see, I hope we can, this, this is as far as light. And don't worry about the, the children's sound is that they're, neighbor just caught a, a uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave this alone because remember he's they're gonna come out a little bit you probably can take some of it off you know like here up to the oops up to the to the legs you know like you can take a little bit of this off and around here, but we just went around the back. And I see at, at the angle that I, I have it is that when I look into my screen, it does look a little dark. But I thought I just this is when I, I'm gonna get started here on this, get you started on that. In fact, let's protect ourselves here by... And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut her down and wait till things are a little... A little quieter and the sun is a little... So we went around this. Around this a little bit. I was almost thinking on well, what I could do is I could put on some music or something, a music track, but I would rather not. So this is, so far at this point in time, this is not a good idea of having it outside. Right now the, the missus is in teleconferencing, so I can't have it on the inside. 
Let's take some of this off here. Be careful we don't take too much off. We're just rounding. And we'll take, we'll take ni the knife to cut a little deeper here on the... So it kind of feels like I am, maybe I should shut her down. I feel like I'm being rushed. But I want to get you started on this, just a little bit here. And sort of like a come back later kind of a thing. And I'll get around that. And then I want to round. Just just getting this getting this a little started. Started around the mm. Is a good son. And then just round this a little bit. Remember we got the halo. Just taking some corners off. Do the hair here. Got to put the hair in. Now, I did tell you today, uh, the kids on the other side there, they're kind of really all aglow because uh, they have, uh, in fact, the father has a, a squirrel trap, one of the live well, live ones, and they got a tenant in there, so they're all a glow at or what really he's just talked to him and he says he's gonna take a tour take a drive but this is what we're gonna start in I want to get started at the bottom doing some rounding off and I thought I'm gonna stop right now wait till uh, there's less machinery and more Sun I just want to shout out, be quiet! So much for being outside. Okay, I'm jumping in quick here. Uh, I took the knife and I'm just taking a little bit off of the, a little corner off of the head like this. I mean, there'll be more shaping, of course. Um, I've also started to take some of the um, saw marks off. I've also started getting the shoulder going. Just a little bit, they're gonna be quite a bit. I mean, the shoulder is gonna come in pretty sharp. His arm, her arm's coming out quite a bit. So we're just getting started. This is just getting started, uh, kind of committing to some of the cuts. Um, See, I'm using this on my knee because I'm trying to get to as much sun. Saw marks off. Kids are still looking at the squirrel and playing with the squirrel. I got two boys. The older one telling the younger one what to do. And, uh, kind of committed to taking a stop cut here. Now what's going to happen is this is going to shrink quite a bit. This is a, um, this is actually a tall, slender angel, and so a lot of this is going to disappear because we're going to have some of this sticking out. So there's there she is in the center where the two are sticking out. That's why it looks like it's kind of short and stubby when you look at the back. And again, taking the the big chisel, the monster chisel. This is a number five, um, I'd say about a number five, about, is that about an inch and a half, whatever millimeter that is. And so we're cutting a lot of this. 
is coming off. Same with this side. I don't have my right hand owie glove on. Sometimes I use worn out gloves, the worn out, uh, the holding on glove. Let's see if I'm still in. I'm trying to at least get you started. I might do a shutdown, wait till the coast is clear. But there you go, listen to the Blue Jays. That's what I wanted. Outside, listen to the Blue Jays. Now we want the elbow is going to be coming out. We want as much elbow as we can. Where's the sun? Here we go. Where are we here? I have to be careful because that sun moves pretty fast. Is that when we... When we cut in here, uh, I know it's kind of a little punky. That's the other reason why I cut so fast, carve so fast, is because I want to try to get as much in, as much in on, I mean, this could very well be an easy weekend project. I want to get this in in a reasonable YouTube time. You can always stop it. That is way going to be thinned out. The next we want to do, as we're getting started, I want to, oh, excuse me. I still want to keep working on the making sure my in keep working on the the figures so I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna use the smaller chisels as a number five probably and let's just start in and a nice stop cut let's get that started right here nice stop cut oops go this way because if I went the other way, I could probably easily... Now, I did get this started over here. Because a lot of this, this area is going to be her head. Or his head. Same with the other side. This is going to be mostly her head. Oh, careful. I'm going to take too much off. But again, I think the heads might even still be a bit too large. But anyways, did I do, did I do a cut here? And I didn't do a cut here. So what we want to do, as much as you can with a knife or take your chisel, start cleaning this stuff out. And I'm gonna keep going as long as we have the break. Kids just went inside. I always hate the sound of the snap. It feels like I've just took off the tip of my, my blade. Because there's still going to be, even though the angel's going to have basically a bosom, there's still quite a bit of width there. I mean, we don't want her to be uh, very, too busty. Because now that, it, now we clean, once we clean this out, let me take the saw marks out of there and when I when I'm kind of relatively I put a little bit of angle here towards the arm just a little bit so okay we're up to here because I gotta see I can't see the reflection of the, there you go I'm gonna put my knee there because like I said if I it'll focus to the to the bottom and that's why this comes on focus so now that I've got something like this going and I'll take my pencil Get that straight line in there and like I said she's gonna be much thinner because I think one of the two I want to be careful with the shoulder too the shoulder's gonna come up the shoulder I want the shoulder to come a little lower because what's gonna happen is 
I'll just pencil this in. We want some good, we got a neck here going on. We want that. And at the same time, we got the, the halo. I think we might have too much head, too much wood for the head. And just getting a feel here. Just getting a feel, and there's a smile or whatever seriousness. So a lot of this will come off. But I want, this is what I was looking for. I want to put this in. Now I'm not going to V, v that in right now. I just want to, to, to see how that works. A lot of this is going to come up. That kind of same with the back. Um, because when we start working with the with the figures here, careful. Because now since what's going to happen is is that the, the body is going to come out. This is actually where the hand is. Am I in? Where the hand is, is the and the foot is the farthest out. With maybe a little bit of the or the skirting. Because everything else is going to go in and the arm, the hand is going to come out. Her, the angel's hand is going to come out. You can see even though that I, I goofed up, we still got plenty of, yeah, we got plenty. And that, so the head is going to go back. So if I were to just get a feel here, let's put, but let's not take the angel's hand off. So I'm almost a little bit of commitment of hand and head. The head is going to go back. So I'm going to take a nice swipe. Just a little swipe, but do remember they got that really bulky stuff on. So I just more of a, a couple of swipes to bring the body forward just a little bit. Then let's commit to that head again. Oops. Let's see what, oh, where's my veto? There it is. I keep making sure this is working out. So you like to hear the birds, and that's what I'm looking for, this sound here. It's okay to have kids, but. And whoa. Ooh. God, it almost sounded like a, a bomb went off. Now I want to do the same thing with her. Get the head back. Just a little bit. We'll probably be taking some more off. Make sure we got Angel's hand is good. On the shoulder. A little bit of roundness just to commit a little bit. that out in there. I think, like I said, her head may be a little, a little larger. Even though, I mean, what they got on is, is really bulky. I mean, it's almost like a 1950s spaceship kind of a, kind of a outfit, almost like they're from, from another planet or round a little bit, commit a little bit to the roundness of the head. See the head commit to the size or shape of the head. I'll show you as soon as I get this off of here. It's kind of it's kind of a toss-up of having doing this like early morning and listen to the morning birds, but then there's not that much sun. The shadows are really screwy. So, and like I said, we're more committed to take some of this stuff off. Chisel if you want. So 
this so quite a bit. She's kind of a thin. We gave her more wood. Let's just go like this. I want to bring this in just to bring the neck in and see how you got that nice sharp separation of the head. We got the neck separation of the head from the shoulder. And even though when you look at it, this really looks kind of hokey. I mean, it looks kind of but once you rough this in, then you can smooth this out in any shape you you really want. The whole thing is getting getting the body going, getting this all going here. Now it's time to take this chisel here. Smaller chisel, this is a small number five. I'm gonna make sure I have enough for her bosom there. Don't get too too wacky down there, but then I mean we always have angels are always Especially the Christmas angels are always thin and very attractive and, you know. Meanwhile, up in heaven, Michael and Gabriel, Gabriel, I say, well, wait, when is, where's our figures on Christmas? How can we always have the ladies? Us guys, we want equal time, you know. This is the 21st century here, you know. We got equal time, you know. <laughs> I'm going to do the same over here. I'll be careful putting that, like I said, you put the stop cuts in. If you think about where you're going to stop. I'm going to go this way. Because if I went this way, I'm going to slip and get that in my leg and ruin my pants. It's the same with, be careful when you get down to here is you're going from a tip down like this. Now the thing I've always said in all my other videos is you want, do another lesson holding the knife, the knife, you want the tip and the finger, thumb, pardon me, and the tip is straight down. You do not have a knife without the thumb because that is so dangerous you put that pressure down and and then other people do this and that is not good the pressure is with this part of the hand will be able to get that in there deep down this time i choose to go this way same with here Getting all the, oop, turn this over. And like I said, the feet are going to come out. So again, I want to commit to taking this out. 